Good morning to all. I am very much thankful to Suryakom and uh, organizing this very important uh, seminar on solar energy. So, once again, I am thankful to all my friends on dais, of the dais, for uh, coming here. And uh, this is a very important subject which now India should look into. Energy is the driving force behind all economic activities. We in Gujarat are paying very high rate of electricity charges. So it has become a very big cost for our manufacturing project. So I think this is also need to be addressed. Consequently, the ever increasing population and the associated energy requirements to meet the increasing living standards have become matters of great concern. I can see that in most of the houses now, AC is a must. Few years back, AC was not that much required. But now the habit to our young generation, when they come into the room, they will first start on all the lights, put AC or fan on and they enjoy. So I think this is also going to be a big consumption factor on energy. In particular, the ability Availability of the suitable and sufficient energy sources, development of environment friendly utilization technologies and the cost of energy have become extremely important factors needing immediate attention. In this context, several schemes have been proposed for developing new and solar energy technologies by the state government. Solar energy is reliable and plentiful and will potential be very cheap once technology and infrastructure improve. Fortunately, in India and particularly in Gujarat, we have a lot of sun available. I think after 12 months, 10 and a half months, we can have a sun available. Gujarat was number one. Unfortunately, we were the first in the country, but today we are sixth in the country because of our some state policy where it is being discouraged. And that is why we are today sixth. So I give you the data. But now has been pushed to the sixth spot. Telangana is now largest producer of solar energy in the country. Statistics available in September 2017 show that Telangana leads with generating 2,792 megawatt of solar power followed by Rajasthan, Andhra, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Gujarat is producing 1,384 megawatt of solar. Telangana is planning to generate 5,000 megawatt solar power in the next two year to three years, while Gujarat has planned up for only 250 megawatt. Telangana is going for solar power in a big way to run the various upcoming irrigation schemes and industries in the state. Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Bhai Modi, has an ambitious goal of reaching 100 gigawatt of grid-connected solar power by 2022 and making India a global leader in the development of solar energy. This will improve the estimated investment of about 100 billion US dollar. The government of Gujarat has also rolled out various incentives under the solar policy 2015 for the generation of solar power. In fact, there is also a separate subsidy for generation of rooftop solar power. The state of Gujarat also offers a subsidy of rupees 10,000 per kilowatt of installed capacity up to a maximum of rupees 20,000 per customer. On a national context, while Gujarat looked a lead in initiating the growth of solar power in India. Unfortunately, it is currently lagging behind. We need to focus more on developing the solar technologies and making the project sustainable and viable at cheaper rates. So, Gujarat Chamber has also taken up this with the state government that this is the need of the time because to save two, three coal based generator, you cannot punish the industries of Gujarat and deprive solar projects. And uh, we have also taken up with the Honorable Prime Minister also that this is what is happening in Gujarat and he after this election will definitely look into the matter seriously. And solar 
we cannot ignore i have seen you all have seen all european countries though there is a less solar available sun available each and every house has a rooftop so why we should not have but the policy and the cost of course it has gone down substantially when it was uh, in the beginning the cost of solar was costly today it has come down substantially lot of availability in the market is there recently day before yesterday our uh, chamber rooftop is also we have ordered for a solar roof so we as a chamber first have to do that so we are also doing at our chamber level and we are promoting solar it is a need of the time i think it is a basic raw material cost reduction if you want to bring down the energy is a big cost for the industry with this i am once again thankful to you to listen me with a patient and organizer for creating such a nice seminar here in amdavad and gujarat was the leading and the first state to start with but unfortunately we are sixth we do have to come to first in ease of doing business also we are today fourth so again we have to reach one and for that we are working with the government i think we will do that thank you